What up? What it do? It's your main man, DJ Swanger, aka Two Spoon Swaggoo. Welcome to another episode of Two Spoons Tuesday, where we spread love, speak positive, and send gratitude to all our players in this league, all the coaches in this league, all the owners in this league, and our beautiful fans that support this beautiful game that we love. This week, man, we got a young star from the crib, South Carolina in the building. Y'all already know. Young, my young star. Yeah, well, my boy in the building, 803 rapid, huh? Yeah, Ty man. Scott, man. Ty Scott from Estill, South Carolina, man. Down there by Buford, down there by, you already know. You already, the, eight, the 803 cool. slash 843. He close to the 843, too, now. Nah. So, hey, mm -hmm. welcome, my boy, man. Ty, how you yeah. feeling? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Feeling blessed, man. Grateful for the opportunity to be on the podcast with you, boy. OG. You already know. I appreciate you for coming on, bro. Taking some time out your day, bro. You know, we had this little off day, so I appreciate you for coming on, bro. For sure. Let's all good. get right into it, though, bro. Where you from? Let the people know where you're from. Man, small town, man. Hole in the wall, as I like to call it. Estes, South Carolina, man. Yeah. Ain't too many people gonna know about it. Probably ain't a lot of people out here don't know about it, but man. We, sure. we breed some dogs, man. We just trying to spread that light on top of us. For sure, I feel that. I feel that. So, how was it growing up in in, in a small town like this? I mean, bro, keep it a, keep it a buck. In the beginning, bro, it was it was it was it was like a dream dream come true, man. See yeah. all the old dudes playing ball. It was like, that's when it all started, man. That ball came into my life, seeing the older guys get to do it, man. That's when those times when I was a young kid, man, everything around was fun. Fairs was still happening, parades, families was coming outside, you know, boys riding bikes, doing all that. But man, main thing about Esther, man, when I was a kid, man, that football was like, it was like our lives, you know, trying to change slowly but surely. For sure, that's what's up, bro. South Carolina, boy, that's all we really got. Well, it's South Carolina. Mm -hmm. In South Carolina, it's football. So when did you feel like you fell in love? I know we fall in love early, but what? when did you say you fell in love with the game of football, bro? Like, what age you say? It's crazy, bro. I probably was, it'd be a shocker, but I probably was about 17 years old, bro. Word, word. And that's when you yeah. fell in love with it. You probably played the whole time, but you just fell in love with it when you about 17. Yeah. Yeah, Word. I was seven years old, man. I can't sure. even believe it though, bro, because like growing up, you know, everybody knew I was I was a basketball. For sure. But my stars like they shined more on the field. Everybody always told me, bro, that foot that basketball, yeah, bro, you athletic. You you can do some crazy stuff, but that football will take you place that basketball ain't. For sure. For sure. That's crazy because I was sort of the same, bro. Like hooping. You know, in South Carolina, bro, you can really do everything. Like, exactly. that's what people don't understand about our state. Like, you're going to grow up playing all three sports, all four sports, really, because you're going to be able to play a little bit of baseball. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You're able to play baseball, football, basketball, and you're going to run track to get your speed up, depending on what where you at in South Carolina. So, that's crazy. I was I was a hooper myself, bro. So, I, I definitely understand, like, the dynamic and like, boy, I want to hoop, you feel me? But if football is going to take me, then I'm going to go with football, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, man. Hey, so, man, that is as long as we get out the hole in the rut, you feel me? Right, and that's exactly how it go, bro, because you got to think about a lot of the guys. Everybody from South Carolina that's in the NFL or playing pro ball, they can hoop. Hawk can hoop. Alshon, Jeffrey can hoop, you feel me? He, should oh, be around, right? Alshon around your way, right? Yeah, yeah that's uh, talking with all them boys. A AJ Green can hoop, Stephon yeah. can hoop. Like all the boys that's that's in the league from South Carolina, bro, are are definitely hoopers. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up, bro. So you got uh brothers and sisters? Man, I'm the baby of all girls, man. Word, how many sisters Please. you got? I got thirty, man. Cordelia, Tamika, and Jessica. Word, yeah, that's but I know you, boy. I know they was jealous of you. It ain't even that. Well, them, them, they really made me what it is today, man. Word. Them That's girls, cause they, when I tell you, my sisters was like the ones I wanted to be like. Not, you know, not on that type of side, but like, they weren't scared of nothing. For sure. Anything they came to their mind, they felt like they, you know, you only live one type of, you know, that type of mindset. They tried it, bro. They ain't care about the consequences and not. Good people, man, good girls, but they was just them dogs. Right. If there's one thing I could say about my sisters, man, they had that dog. 
Right, and, right. The dog, you know. And I took I like that it. from him, and that's why I love him to death now. My my oldest sister, Cardi, she like my she like my mom's. If I'm being real, right. she kept the, he, shout out he to the man. Yo, rock, man. Right. Yeah. Do it for hey, but raising you how they raised you. That's that's a blessing, bro. For sure. Got to take care of our women, bro. Feel me? Got to take hey. care. Show for sure. How was it, bro, coming up through Estill High School, basically going to college? What college you went to? I ended up going to uh, Central Michigan University. I because I actually graduated out of uh, Carolina, man. I like I say, my story, you know, my story is yet to be heard. But it, like I say, I'm still writing. But uh, for sure. So uh, come, tell me, tell me how that went, bro. From 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 not graduating to getting to college. How that how how that go? Like I said, man, basketball, all the football, that was the key things in my life that kept me happy, really. And it was just like my family. Uh, we had a big a big hump in life. My dad ended up losing his job not too long after I ended up suffering a real bad car accident that kind of put me out of commission for like a year and a half. But by that time, everybody knew that uh, I was that kid that he got football sparked, something about him. I had big hands. I could catch the ball. I was aggressive. But you know, you hit that hole in the wall and you, you start to think about like, what's next? What's gonna happen? And like I say, it was also dealing with me and my football, you know, dreams at the moment. You know, because as a kid, I still had them football dreams. I remember telling my mom one day, I'm about to buy her uh, Cherry Red Chrysler 300 Chrome Rims. I'm For still sure. chasing the dream to this day. Right. But yeah, man, we hit that hole. And that's when my life just, it changed. It went full circle on me. I started getting into everything possible to, to try to keep myself and keep my family up and lifted. You know, I started cutting hair, tried to provide it as a young kid in the house. And uh, it ended up being... One of those things where I saw opportunity and I, I launched forth at it. Like, I ain't waste no time. I told my mom and my dad, like, I want to I wanna go be somebody. And I know this football is going to take me places. Like, like everybody say that, that basketball won't. But that basketball going to draw them eyes. So I, uh, I hit the road, man, solo, by myself. That's why they called me Dolo. I left when I was, left when I was 14 years old. Get sure. in Georgia. Got an opportunity to play on the AAU basketball team. The team actually like looked at me and you know heard some about my history and where I was from, mm. and they wanted to create a better situation for me. So you know, like I say, times was hard for my moms and my pops, and I, I just couldn't live like how we was living anymore, man. It was kind of it was kind of rough for you, dog. You know what I'm saying? But I told my mom and my dad straight up. I was like, man, y'all y'all gotta let me leave. I'm trying to do it. I want to do it real bad, but I need y'all to, I need y'all to let me leave the nest just for a little while. I'm gonna be back. For sure. Yeah, man. Went to Georgia, balled out, made a name, created some bullets for myself. Thanks for, you know, thanks for my coaches that helped me along the way and my teammates. And now, you know, I was part of that 1.5%. They get that chance to put on the NFL jersey. And now, sure. they, you know, that's the dream. We chasing it still right now. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, bro. Everybody got to go through that adversity, bro. It ain't, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You don't get no strength without that struggle. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. everybody got to go through that struggle. And that's really what make us, brother, make us uh, so determined, make us so uh, have that drive. You know what I'm saying? You always got to have something that drive and that why. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. that that keep going, bro. So um, keep going, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. That's all I got to say with that. Just keep going. The sky the limit, bro. We, we here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So. Just keep doing what you're doing, keep grinding, bro. Cause like I said, bro, you 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 been caught my eye from, from you know what I'm saying, from day one. You know what I'm saying? Most of the people in practice, you know what I'm saying, doing what you doing what you've been doing and you've been, you know what I'm saying, balling these last couple of weeks. You feel me? Let's take it to to these last couple of weeks when we just got a good W, bro. How you felt how you been feeling out there these last two weeks during the game? Man, just happy, excited, man. Ain't nothing like getting that. That feeling look like, like running out there on the football field, regardless if it's that fresh, cool creek, that fresh, cool cut green grass or that that turf. Sure. That was something that, yeah, that was something I fell in love with. But really, man, and then like I say, where I get the experience playing with great players that that have been places that I, you know, I'm I'm seeking out to be. And I know y'all boys got the notes and the cheat codes to help me get there. So right. you know, I always I always be thankful, man. Every time I before I step on the field. Talk about right when we walk in that stadium or to that uh that dome or anything, man. Before I step on that green, I just you know I bow my head. I give thanks to the Most High because I get to do this one more time. 
Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. You gotta give thanks to God, bro. Cause without him, we ain't nothing, bro. And it's exactly. it's it, it's always a blessing, bro, when we can get out there and do what we love to do. Always. Like I, t- I tell y'all boys all the time, bro, you got to be thankful for this, bro. You got to play the game like you're thankful for this, bro, because a lot of people want to be in our shoes, bro. Even though we're trying to get back to that next level, a lot of people want to be in these shoes to try to get to that level, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we got to be thankful for that, bro. So last game, man, you hit you. You scored the, the game when it touched down. Boy, you hit that boy with a, uh, uh, he the field hey. with a top four job. I say, look at my Yo, boy. Oh, he's still doing what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? He's been doing it all count. Damn. They don't need to know man. They don't need to know He's doing it all count. I, take, take me through the route, bro. Take me to the, through the plate. Man, we had a little, you know, our route call, but we had, we alerted the pump. So yeah. I seen the DB, they played that, that, uh, that high three. I seen he wanted a man turn, and uh, yeah. you know I do my pre my pre snap. I go to peeking. I look at your hips. I look at your feet. I like to see how you move. And it was sure. thing that caught my eye, man. He liked to go flat footed. For so sure. about to, I told myself right when, right when he snapped that ball, and I said, man, just one two. As soon as he go flat footed, just burst out. All Got right. the kill shoulder. That boy J A. You already know Tamer with the. Yeah, kiss that boy. <laughs> kiss that, buddy. Yeah. Come on, man. We you heard what Coach say. We don't lose that. Hey, we don't lose that Audi. Lose that Audi. I took that. I took that to heart, man. Like I say, man, it's a blessing to share that jersey, and I wanted to. I want to make my mark on this team as a young rook. Like if y'all boys call my name, I'm gonna be there. Be there. All right. Hey, you definitely been showing up the last two weeks for sure. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. You feel me? Do not get complacent. Keep staying consistent. Keep doing what you're doing in practice, and. Let the noise go through one ear out the other. You know what I'm saying? You balled out, you been balling out, but hey, that's just a part of the process, bro. You gotta do this weekend we got, bro. So yeah. keep doing more, bro. Stay focused and we gonna keep working, bro. Cause we got we got unfinished business, you feel me? Until we get to the championship, it's all unfinished business, bro. So keep doing what you're doing, bro. So um, what you like listening to before the game? Who you, who you, who your artist is? Who you, who you, who you rocking, man? Who you listening to to get you that vibe? You feel me? Who gets you tell you the truth, bro? I'm all over the place well, with it, but this it's yeah, yeah, I'm all over the place with it, but it's more like I like to mix a lot of motivation, but a lot of like hunger. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to preach something to you, like with a little deep vein. Mm-hmm. So you already know everybody fan favorite young boy, yeah, but yeah. I go to those them young boy songs that make me realize like. Like, bro, like, no matter what you have been through on this road, bro, you can make it out, bro. You just got to believe in yourself. So, young boy, right. one of my keys when it comes to that, and then, you know, I usually, like, I, I listen to the stuff we listen in the locker room. Y'all boys, they put me on a lot of different sure. flavors. Like, For I got sure. my uh, my boy Rouse with some Philly music I've been jamming. That yeah. remix to uh, If I Rule the World. I yeah, got a yeah. couple of my guys that, you know, I grew up with and, you know, been to college with. They do their little raps. Like one of my favorites right now is that uh that one man army, you know like like I say man sometimes you gonna you gonna run into them walls and them obstacles man you got to be able to regardless if you got you know you got a tenfold of brothers behind you coming but you still got to be that one brother like you got to make it through man right. like I say man I like to spread the love like I I'm I'm, I'm real big on you know if my boys send me music I'm jamming yeah. it. I like I like to get into the vibe. I like to see what they, you know, what they, if we and you, if that's my dog for real, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I right, know right. he gonna he gonna say something through my phone. Or he gonna let me know, give me crump. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But more, nine times out of ten, I like to spread it around. But young boy gonna always be that that key for note sure. to like my yeah. livelihood, like how I grew up. For sure. That what's up. Yeah, young boy gonna get you going, boy. For real. He, he, exactly. he talented, boy. He definitely Tell him, man. Like sure. he said, man. Everything like. Even though he had been through all that, man, you know, he, ain't none of us can take it from him. Boy, right. 24 years old, man, he right. he doing what he need to do when it come to the right. rap game. Right, definitely doing what he doing. So we gonna shift it a little bit, man, a little bit off the field, bro. What you like doing off the field? So what bring you t- to that to that peace of mind, you know what I'm saying, playing? You know, we play football, we put a lot in the game. What give you that peace of mind off the field? What you like doing? Well, mainly writing. Like, I like to write with my heart feeling. Like, I know you probably done seen a couple times when I'm down there in the lobby uh, before the night, before the game, I just be jotting in my little notebook. Uh-huh. That's when I, that's when I, like, you know, you got to have those conversations with yourself, man, with the Lord, you know, to let them know, like, mm-hmm. I'm just, 
I know like everything that I've been through, man, you you didn't brought me all the way here once again. Yep. Like I say, and then uh, you know, like the music, like you just say, sometimes I hear a beat yep. and I get there. You know, hold on, let me just let me try something. You know what I mean? I like to try new yep. things, man. It's all about like seeing how far you can get your brain to go outside the boxes that you are that you comfortable with. You know what I mean? Right. So it's right. just a lot of a lot of different things I like to get my hands into. Like I just like to explore really. You know, I like clothes. I got a couple couple guys that I know about. Uh that's uh I supposed, I'm supposed to have an event tonight, around about nine o'clock downtown, midtown, right. trying to go see some new, you know, trying to network, man. Cause like I say, bro, like moving to all these different states I've been to so far, it's like the main thing I'm loving about all of it is like the new faces, the new thoughts, the new feelings. But you just, sure. you know, I put that book down in front of me. And I let all the things combine. And I just, you know, write my story out. That's what's up, bro. The writing is 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 key, bro. It's beautiful. I write every day, every night, really. Got a, yeah. uh, I got a gratitude notebook that I write in the morning, three, three, four times a week. And then I got a recap, like a journal at the end of the night. The basically mm -hmm. is say out my thoughts, talk basically what went good, what was challenging what things I need to work on throughout that day. You know what I'm saying? So writing is is is, is great for your mind, bro. It's good too. Especially when you ain't, you know, you ain't really you can we can talk to certain people, but it's all oh, yeah. to yourself, bro. You feel me? Because you can get you can get whatever off your chest, you feel me, by writing or talking to yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's in our in our profession, bro, it's always good to basically write. Just get whatever off our mind, bro, because we deal with a lot of stuff, bro. So I like that you write. You already know it, man. I got to, man. It's been one of my key, key little, uh, key little uh, routines. I'm going to say, yeah, yeah my routine. ritual. Yeah. yeah, my key rituals for, for every every game. Something just tell me to, to just, man, go get that notebook and write how you feeling something right now. Whether it's you feeling your little, your anxiousness for the play this game tomorrow. You, you happy that you see all these people around. You just write about it. Just talk yeah. to the Lord about it for a couple of minutes, man. He, sure. everything you feel it, he gonna he gonna bring to the light, man. He gonna help you out, right? And you write it down, bro. It's easier to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's way easier to get it done. You see it on paper, you recite it. It's like it's easier. You gonna see it happen, bro. So I command you on doing that, bro. Especially at an early yeah. age. That, that say a lot about you, bro. For real. So uh, so other sports. So if you want playing. You weren't playing pro football, you'd be playing pro what? Come on, man. You already know the best. Here we go, man. I got that J, man. Just, hey, I ain't gonna yeah, ain't gonna freak out. So what what's your game? Who your game like, bro? Who so who who your game like you saying in the NBA right? I ain't even gonna say the NBA right now. I'm like one of the one of a kinds that Jerry yeah. Green come through. Jerry Green, man. Jail Not fly here. We'll give you a three ball when we need it. Yeah. We can get hot. You know, we can get springy. We gonna slash, yeah. cut through the paint. We gonna put it on somebody's head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay. That's why, that's why I said, and that was my main thing though. I'm talking, I'm telling you like, my coaches in college, every coach that visited me before I uh signed my uh, letter of intent, all of them recruited me, talked to me, did this, did that. But ain't none of them showed up to one of the football games. All of them wanted to watch me play basketball. Word. That's every single last one of them got to see something, yeah. Yeah. I do, yeah. I get springy out there, bro. I get yeah, springy. It's, it's going down. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's what I hear, bro. Yeah. They got to like they're great. And Jerry Green, I'm telling you, like, no fake. Yeah. The springs is there. That's yeah. why I sing things. With the, uh, then I got to say everybody, then people who really know me, like, when I, uh, the shot was there, when everybody heard, seeing me post my, uh, pro day. Yeah. Uh, vertical. Yeah. Ain't no way. That's all I kept hearing that whole day. Ain't no way. What did he drop? What did you drop? The boy, the boy said, no, nah, that's the thing. You, you see how you, you think it's going to be high, ain't it? Yeah. I got I got them clips that everybody who done seen me jump. Ain't no way that boy jumped no 34. For sure. But it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's different, bro. Like, we should do, we should do, gonna be sitting still and jumping. Like, the vertical mm -hmm. should never be a standing jump. It should always be a drop step jump or like the NBA, bro, they get to run and jump. Exactly. Like, like that don't make no sense. How we get to sit still and jump, but they, if anything, that's they sitting still when they going to get a rebound. This exactly. no time on the field where we just going to be 
sitting still and jumping, bro. We always always moving, moving. Right. always moving and doing something, man. Right? Like what I say, bro. But, but that's what, but in a, in a, in a way of safe, bro. Like I say, like people who know, bro, they know. Yeah, I already know. I already <laughs> know. know. I already know how it go because it's different from running and jumping. Just I'm telling so, you. Go ahead. Yeah, I, well, you got me started now, but a bunch hey, of here, 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 like anybody in your family that inspired you? I know you said something about your sisters, or did you have an athlete that you looked up to, whether it's the NBA, mom or dad? Who would you say was most inspirational to you, or like an idol to you growing up? He probably had never noticed, or he had never, he just probably ain't never thank you, but it, it was really my dad. For sure. Like, I got to see him go through every phase of life. I got to see what it was like for him to be at his most high. He was always a hard working man. He ain't never he never told anybody no one what if everything was good. Like he was that one you really like call on. Like that was my best friend. Still is, if I'm being real, we just don't get to spend time like you because you know I'm out here trying to make sure one day I can give him that phone call and say, bro, you ain't gotta do it no more, bro. I'm ready to right. you ain't gotta But like I got to see my dad, like and everybody know like my friends, like they know I'm always in the sun. Like I say, I cut hair, I tattoo, I could have played basketball, I could have played football. Right work on cars or work on ATVs. Where well, everybody keeps saying get the hands, I be like, my old man. Yeah, he got it from Pops. My old man. He, he blessed me with a gift, man. And like I say, I didn't watch him break his back. I just, like I didn't say it, I didn't watch people turn their back on him, knowing that he would have gave them their last, but like that's my dog, man. I owe it all. I really owe it all to him. For sure. Shout out so, Pops. Big time. Big time. Shout out to Pops, man. For real, for real. I'm gonna end it with like, really, I'm gonna ask this last question and then, bro, if you got a couple questions for me, bro, ask me some questions, cause you know what I'm saying, I didn't, you feel me? I'm, we all here to chop it up, bro. So whatever questions you got for me, ask me the questions. But this last one, who you doing it for? Basically, as far as who you play the game for, like, do you got a foundation you represent? In? Do you got a school you represent? The city you represent? Are you doing it for your family? Like, who you want to spread the light on right now? You get what I'm saying? Like this, this your moment. Like to if if you want to direct, if you if you were dedicating this season or dedicating the game to, who who would it be? A school, parents, sister, foundation, school charity, whatever it is, bro. Spread the light on it right now. Who is? It? I'm gonna say two things, but they both involve the same. Uh, mainly, it's my my niece and my nephew. And they come to get those two put together in my all time saying, man, I do it for the kids. For sure. I do it for the kids. Cause my nephew, you know, when I look at him, I'm like, boy, I don't know what you're going to be doing, <laughs> but I'm going to make sure, I'm going to make sure you're doing the right thing. I'm going to make sure you got an example. I'm going to make sure you got the person that if you ever need a question, need an answer, I got you. Like, I'm going to be there for you. And I'm going to tell you like, it ain't nothing in this world you can't achieve. Right. But my niece, beautiful young woman, you know, I call my baby my young woman because one day that's what she gonna be. Right. I ain't gonna need that ain't the same little girl I was told on the neck at one point. Right. You know what I mean? She got, you know, I wanna I just tell her every time, man, hey man, as long with that grade, them grades, you send me your report card, every time you get a report card, you be send me send me a report card, I got you some money. For sure. You know, I do anything to make her understand like ain't nothing in this you, as long as you do what you need to do right now, I guess you're young, young, stay away from all that nonsense. Man, it's cool to have friends and have friends, but just like it was for me down there uh, in Esther, South Carolina, bro. Like I had friends that, like I said, I lost my best friend to gun violence. Word. Lost one of my best friends, Law to my brother, man, saying Aquan Frazier. But when I when I felt what that felt like, and then we was kids, you know, my boy was just finna graduate high school. We was still young. Yeah. That's what changed my whole trajectory around about where I'm from. I always looked at it as, man, we have to give the we got to get them the youth the chance, bro. We got to have give them a real chance to understand like it's more than what you see than when you're growing up. Like, oh, of course, yeah, I seen I seen older guys, you know, selling dope, playing with firearms, yep. you know, coming in the house doing all this, staying in trouble. But like, they only did that because they seen like 
that's what they seen a lot of the older cats doing, or the older cats used to put that in their ear. Product of their environment. Exactly. So the main thing for me is like, I'm, I was all, I'm always around my OGs, man. I'm around the ones too, who could tell me, you know, real about it. Like, right. It ain't, it ain't what it seemed, bro. Like, we got you, but we need you to stay on this path. We don't need you over there. So right. that's why you always, people always see me, and they, they don't really see me with guys in my age group. They always see me with the older OGs. For sure. That's what's up, bro. And that, yeah. you know the kids, bro. What's your what's your niece and nephew name? Jaleah and Dion. Jaleah and Dion. Dion, man. They gonna be some one day. They gonna be legendary one day, bro, because of, because of they aren't, bro. And uh, yeah. that, that, bro, it's always about the kids, bro. It's definitely about the kids. It's about what we pour into them, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Being a role model is something that I always try to do. Um, I got a foundation at the crib, Greenwood, talk, called the Two Spoons Foundation. Just basically bought, um, I bought back my old recreation center in, in my neighborhood that was closed mm -hmm. down for 15 years. So we basically getting that back to school program going and giving the kids the opportunity to basically capture their dreams, bruh, and go get whatever goals they want and, and, and just to spread light on them, bruh, and give them opportunities. Cause, bruh, being from, being from South Carolina, period, bruh, you know, that's, it's, it's a struggle. You don't matter what part you're from. There's jungles everywhere in South Carolina. Bro, it's a struggle everywhere in South Carolina. So, you know what I'm saying? I try to do my part with that each and every year to, with my foundation, bro. So, but yeah, bro, that's 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 big that you're doing that for, for your niece and nephew, bro. But yeah, bro, whatever questions you got for me, bro, let me have them, bro. You feel me? Uh, all you right. You know coming up? So let me have them. What you got, bro? Uh, all right, I got two right there now, bro. All right, because this is something I always wanted to hear and wanted to do myself, bro. What went what, what, what through your mind? Versus Baltimore, you walk to the sideline. Kid says to you, "I need two of them. I need four. what you say that he said. I need two of them. I need three of them." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what went through? What went through your mind right there? there? Cause you know it's pre game. You warm it up. You like, yeah, man. My dog just asked for three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My dog asked for three. So, so yeah, man, it was crazy. Cause uh, the little kid he asked me. He was like, "You want three picks or something like that?" Yeah. I was like. Team, we gonna get four, but I'm gonna get y'all two. You feel me, bro? That's just how I was feeling, bro. You know, it'd be one of them games to where you just feel like you're going ball. Yeah. Went out there and grabbed two picks, bro. And then I ended up being able to meet up with them guys like a week later, bro. Signing, signing some for them, bro. So yeah. it was, it was a special moment. It's definitely one of like you know them Babe Ruth moments where they said Babe Ruth said he was going. Hit however many home runs and then hit how many home runs. That's, that, that's yeah. that was that was a moment for me, bro. It was, it was definitely a special moment for me. For sure. Cause that I think that was the main thing when I first walked on the field and I see you out there. I'm like, bro, ain't that cuz that that <laughs> Tony Jimmy he was gonna get like three on me. He came back with two for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ain't no way, bro. This man is savage. He out here shit. I'm like, man, yeah, I got the OG A man coach. Send me, send me all the couple fade balls this way so I can try to <laughs> I gotta be able to be ready to, 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 to do something to get get them safeties out of the way. Do something. We can't give up them type of plays. Push, bro. Push. Yeah, bro, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Watching your career, bro. So watching them highlights, bro, seeing that you caught a pick on what? Was it all 32 or 31 out of the 32 teams? Um, it, it's like I ain't I ain't got all 31, but it's about it's I got 17 of them, bro. So definitely been blessed to be. Doing what I've been doing, bro, is a blessing, bro. And I'm, you know, kind of trying to keep going, bro, and spreading as much light as I can, bro, for sure, for sure. That's it, bro. But I got to say, I probably overdid it when I said third, but, boy, I swear it felt like you, you boy, all, all 30. I definitely been rocking like a minute, bro, but bro. I ain't got, ain't got all 32 yet. Well, hey, preferably I get back and, you know, we can get back on that streak again, bro. You feel me? Job, because you already know it. You know what you're saying? All right, then what I think, what other, man, it's crazy, like, so I really want to know, like, what went into the process of you buying that recreational center back in the crib? Because you know that, that's, like, really my ultimate goal, is to open sure. up my own recreational center for the kids back at home. For sure. First, bro, it started, so I do a camp, it started with me doing a camp every year. I do a camp every year in Greenwood at the high school for the kids every single year since I've been in the league. I started with that, and then I just had a vision. So my recreation center, like, basically, it was called a wreck, basically in the smack there, basically in the middle of the hood. But it was one of the spots that when you growing up in Greenwood, bro, you 
you go there. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, matter if you're from there or not, you gonna go there to, to play ball because you gotta exactly. you gotta go through there to for everybody in the in the wood to know that you you like that or not. You get what I'm saying? So exactly. it got closed down, bro, when I was in like middle school. That's when the violence hit crazy, bro. The violence struck crazy in the city, bro. Like we went from uh man, from we like crazy top five in the world, something like that, bro. I bought it back in 2020. Building was actually closed down. They wouldn't let nobody get it. It was it was just a lady that was just holding it. A lot of people was trying to get it, but she didn't really give it to nobody until me and my business partner came to her. It was like, man, we want to turn this to what it used to be, even bigger and better. And then, bro, she ended up giving us the keys. We paid for it, and now we're in the process of just redoing everything. We got basically over 10 acres of land, bro. We got a court. I do a hooping tournament every every summer. Five on five tournament, and I get a winner's $2,500. Whoever win, I do that with a fun day. So I bring out all the kids. We basically got 10 acres, bro, to do whatever. Basketball, football, baseball. We got a pool out there, bro. So it's going to be crazy once I get everything done. We just making that process right now. Getting this land, that land, this building, that building going, bro. But in no time, bro, it's going to be up and running, bro. But that's one of my biggest uh, accomplishments, I say, is, is is buying that back, bro. And just even right now, bro, just like right now, they probably, it's probably people out there hooping right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, then it wasn't, it, it was closed. So like, it's just a blessing to see, you know what I'm saying? People in my neighborhood just be able to, or in the city period, just be able to have an outlet and, and, and know that what a wreck gonna be back. But I call it the Swanger Center. It's, it's, I basically that my name is called the Swanger Center, but it was called the Wreck. So we still the nickname for it is still the Wreck, bro. So it's good for me seeing the people go to the Wreck, bro, and be able, you know what I'm saying, have that outlet, bro. You know what I'm saying, and that's Get that's real spot. spot, bro. You know what I'm saying. That's what's up, bro. That's why I say, man. I know it's a lot that I can learn from you, bro. You already know in the future, you know oh, I'm gonna call you the yeah, host of camp you know, with me. Bro. I'm one call away, bro. You feel me? Hey, you already know it's crazy. Still, we gotta do it, we gotta look bro. Out for each other, bro. You feel me? Anything you need, bro. Anything. When I say anything, that that's for real, for real, bro. I'm real. One call away, bro. Any advice on the field, off the field. You feel me? Anything with the fam, bro. You already know one call away, bro. It, it ain't nothing, bro. I'm here. Like I told you, bro. I'm here to help. You feel me? I didn't been in these different cities and. Got the second contract, you draft to hear that, you know. What I'm saying? I, I didn't did a lot, bro. So I want to be able to help y'all guys, bro, and, and give y'all that mindset and whatever helping hand I can do to help all of us get to that next level, bro. I'm, I'm with it, bro. So don't never, don't never feel like you bugging me or you know what I'm saying. You bugging me for a kid, no stupid question, or you know what I'm saying. Like I'm, yeah. I'm all give you the truth. I'm gonna give you the real because you feel me. That's that's just what we're supposed to do, bro. That's no, oh. say, bro, it's a blessing to share the field with you, bro. You already know, but it's time to get in week three now. We got some more, we got, yeah. we got some more sticks to got. You feel me? Plant yeah. some hearts. It's time to get it shaking, man. So, yeah, bro, I appreciate you coming on, my boy. It was good talking to you, getting to know you, bro. We gonna get back at it, bro. We we be back to work tomorrow, bro. You feel me? We got we got another. We got another target, like Coach say, man. We got another target at Arlington, and we know we got bad blood, bro, because you know they beat us in the championship last year, bro. So, oh, and it's at, and it's in the in the city. We ain't even got to yell. We ain't got to go nowhere. We ain't got to go man. nowhere. Wake yeah. up, go play ball. Say no more. Pressure. It's that. Yeah. Pressure is up there. But yeah, put that one thing, bro. But you know it, bro. Get you some rest, bro. I see you tomorrow. Appreciate you coming on, man. Much love, my boy. You know it, love, bro.